So guys, it's Dio back for another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be looking back at my Premier League prediction. It's like all the cup and that this week, so I've decided to do this video looking back at it. It should be halfway, but there's been 24 games played in this 18 half. So we're going to be looking back at my predictions and see how teams went. There's some shock hours, there's some good predictions, but let's get into the video. In 20th spot, I said Huddersfield Town. Like a lot of people, I think Huddersfield were a main target for them to get relegated. But for me, they will stay up this season. They've done good. They do deserve to stay up. They are sitting 14th in the league, so they are doing okay. And that's why they are going to stay up. 19th spot, I said Burnley. I just thought it wasn't going to be their year. And you know what? They're surprised. They're sitting in 8th position, so they are doing quite well. And the final team is... Brighton. I said Brighton finished 18th. They are, they are sitting 16th, so they're not doing that bad. But the can still go down. I think Brighton will get relegated this season. But it's it's so tight around the area of relegation to the mid table. It's going to be a tough season. But 18th position for Brighton, it could still be on. Next up, 17th, just arrived and I said Watford. They are sitting 10th in the league. They aren't doing that bad. Recently, they haven't been on a bit of form, but Marcus Silva has been sacked, so he's gone. I, I think Huddersfield. I mean, I think. Why can't I just say Watford? I think Watford will go round that position, like a 15th to 17th position, but I don't think it'll go down. 16th spot, I said Swansea City. They did just beat Liverpool one 0 which they didn't deserve to win, but they did win it. So now look at the bottom of the league, it's going to be so tight, but they are sitting bottom of the league, and I said in 16th. In 15th spot, I said Stoke. Stoke are sitting 17th, but they could easily creep up because they are doing okay recently, and they did get their first win with their new manager, Paul Lambert. I think Stoke is going to be one of them teams that might just survive, or might just go down. I think Stoke are either going to be lucky, or really unlucky this season. So now, my club, Newcastle United, I said... 14th. I don't think it's a bad prediction, we are sitting 15th and we've just signed Kennedy and we are looking at a lot more players. I think that 14th will be where we finish. But I think we can stay up, we can do the job, as long as Rafa gets the money and as long as Rafa keeps, keeps um, as Newcastle manager, we should do okay. In 13th position, I said West Brom. They are sitting 19th, so it's a bit of a surprising um, team West Brom. I thought they would do a lot better this season. Considering now they've got Alan Pardew in, they are, it's still so tight on the bottom. If they maybe, say, win the next game and Stoke lost, Stoke will go relegation, so West Brom will come out. It's so tight on the bottom, and I think West Brom might go down. It's going to be tough. Crystal Palace it was my 12th position. They have picked it up after they didn't win in like six, seven games, but they are doing decent, really good now. Uh, I it's going to be tough when we play them because Newcastle played them in like two three weeks time but you know what Palace are doing good next up in 11th I said Bournemouth I think Bournemouth are a side that will just sit there they'll have them up games they'll have them down games but they are sitting 12th so you know what so far all my predictions I think the only one I've, the bad one I've had is Burnley and that's really it but Bournemouth are doing good and this is one that's this is the one that surprised a lot of people. Southampton, I said 10th. They're sitting 18th. I think their manager has to go. He's not doing it. And I just think Southampton are going to have to have a good graft if they want to stay in the Premier League next season. In ninth spot, I said Leicester. Even though they won the Premier League two seasons ago, they are still a fantastic side. With Vardy up front, with Riyad Mahrez, and, and DD Players like that are just fantastic. And they need to try and keep them players if they want to just be that team who just try and, call off, who try and challenge for the Europa League. In 8th spot, I've said West Ham United. I think West Ham have surprised us a little bit. They are sitting in 11th, which isn't bad, but you've got to think, like, the start they had. I think if they had a decent start, I think they would be sitting 8th, but they didn't really do it, did they? In 7th spot, I've said Everton. The start of the season didn't go well with Robert Koeman, wasn't really doing it. He's saying great players like Sigerson, Rooney. They didn't do it. And now, with Sam Allardyce, they're like such a better squad. 
when they came to St James's Park, they fully deserved to win, they beat us 1-0, and I think Everton could challenge for Europa League. In sixth spot, I did see Manchester United. I just didn't think it was going to be their year this year. They are sitting second, so they are doing really good. I think they can't get the title off Man City, but I think they can do a good job in the Champions League if they do it, if they qualify. In fifth, I said Arsenal. I thought they might just miss out. I thought like players with like Sanchez is left now, so I think it's going to be tough for them to even just try and get in top four. I think they will stick sixth. I did say fifth. But they can still do it because they've just got Megatorium, but I think Megatorium is such a downgrade to Sanchez. This is my first prediction I got bang on. Liverpool in fourth position. Bang on, I got it right. Um, first one I got right out of 16 clubs, I didn't get any of them right. And I've, this is the first one I've got right. I think Liverpool will definitely get Champions League football with Salah, Bobby Firmino, uh, Mane. Players like that will get them in the um, Champions League. In third position, I thought Tottenham Hotspur would have got Champions League football. I'm not saying they aren't going to get Champions League football, but they are sitting fifth at the minute. They're not doing bad, I just don't know where they're getting. They, they might get these like, silly results, like team like Bournemouth or Palace, something like that might like lower the. Uh, might not get like a win off that game. But I said them third, and they are sitting fifth. In second position, I did say Chelsea. They just won the Premier League last season, but I thought they would not do it again, but I thought they would have a really good season. They are sitting third, so they're not doing terrible, but you know what, Chelsea could easily creep the second with Man U slipping points. In top of the league, I said Man City, and they are top of the league. Man City can't slip up now, but 12 points top of the league, they just look so good. Thank God my club have only played them twice, and so now we can concentrate on the lower teams and stuff like that but yeah Man City can't drop now they've got De Bruyne, Aguero, they're gonna win the league and that's gonna be the end of the video guys I'm gonna say now I'm really sorry for not getting uploads out it's because my GCSE is this year and it's just so hard to get videos out I'm trying to do streams just because it's like saving you guys can watch me but like then I have to edit a video and upload it and do all stuff like that but it's a lot easier to get like a video for live stream, but like I'm, I'm gonna try and get as much content out as possible. But it, it's it is really tough. So let me know how you you guys done in your predictions. I only got two right at the minute. It doesn't mean that um they're gonna stick in that position, but I've only got two right. But if you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check guys up later. Goodbye. <laughs>